I heard it's very, uh, there's a lot of, uh, what do they call them, first order optimal strategies? Yeah. Where it's just like, use this one move once you get it and you can't lose. Yeah, there's a, I... That's a shame. You, you think it, a game that would have such a long production time would at least have, like, some sort of balance. Hello, so, viewers! Hello! This is the South Park, the Stick of Truth Let's Play. Oh. Hello! And this is... Ashley? Yes. Guest. Guest yes. voice who will chime in every once in a while with her zany quips. Oh, so zany. I love Pepsi. Anyways, this is a game that you viewers should know was on my shortlist for game potential games of the year before I played it. It was on my shortlist, my personal shortlist, because I was looking at the hype, looking at all the facets around this game, the trouble production. I was like, maybe this will be one of those games that proves us wrong. And this is the first hour of the game. I just want to let you viewers know that I finished this game. And the first six hours of this game may make you believe that it is indeed a game of the year contender. And then after Al Gore, which I should say is the high watermark for this game, things will go downhill so incredibly quickly that you won't even believe what you just witnessed. Deep in the land of but... Let's enjoy this. I'll probably skip over this because of copyright concerns. <laughs> YouTube might flag my ass. Just reverse the video. Hmm. Reverse the video. Oh, you just flip it horizontally. <laughs> I don't know if it still works. I don't know. I'll throw some distortions or something on it. I'll probably give a cool color effect like right now. It's good. It's good. It's golden. It's good. Oh, that's, that looks much better, actually. I like that better than the original. Yeah. You have a... Yeah. What? what? That's loud? Oh, yeah, that's loud. There we go. That's good. That's good. But uh, I like the fact that this intro harkens back to the old Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, the setup for this game is actually kind of ingenious. It's one of the things I think may make some people think that it's actually a very good game, the concept around it. The whole concept of this game is that you are playing in a mm. very, very epic live-action role-playing. This is spray tan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like LARPing, right? That's the whole thing. They're, yeah, kind, of, they're kind of LARPing, but they're also going yeah. in and out of their own sort of, like, uh, bleh, imagination. Yeah, and they're fighting, yeah. like, troops and Nazi zombies in the end. It just, it just all gets very chaotic. But the, the initial setup is genius. Like, you have to admit, yeah. it makes sense as yeah. a video game kind of, like, structure. I honestly didn't think it was going to be a full-length game for some reason. I always... It's about 10 or 12 hours. Oh, yeah, okay, okay never mind. Uh, yeah, I had the intention it was going to be somewhere between 6 and 12 hours. Not, like, a full RPG these days, which is, like, anywhere from 24 to 40 hours long. It gets a good... Um, I, I, I'm saying this even though I know what my final opinion of the game is. But it gets far enough to include the barest bones of an actual RPG system. Like, it knows the words, but it doesn't know the music. You know what I mean? No. No? No. No. Well, I guess I'll see. I'll have to see. Actually, fun, fun thing. When I created this character, knowing South Park, mm -hmm. knowing their brand, particular brand of shock humor that... These guys are obviously indulge themselves in every every time they make an episode. Yeah. Uh, I created my character with a specific intention in mind, and you'll see it once I go to edit the face. But it, I just found it so appropriate to the settings that this game that this character is gonna have to go through. Okay, freckles. <laughs> freckles, freckles. The ginger freckles. The ginger freckles. Okay. There it is. I gave him a terrified expression. <laughs> He's basically a silent, silent protagonist for, through most of the game. Right. So, you're reacting to all these shock moves by all the characters, and this character is just freaking terrified the whole time. It just works so well during half the segments that I play through in this game. But I love that they... Uh, chose to remain with the animation style of the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, funny enough, um, they use uh, Maya in the, the, the software. Hmm. Uh, the 3D 
uh, it's a 3D modeling software that does, uh, you know, it's just a general general program that tackles everything from animation to rendering to, mm -hmm. to, to modeling, you know, rigging particle effects, blah, blah. But uh, the only one that was done in uh, actual physical construction paper, I believe it was, was the first episode. They won't look for him here. Well, it's a distinctive look, and I don't think yeah. any other show will ever be able to, like, match that insanity of no. that look combined with all the shocking things yeah. that those characters end up doing. Yeah. But lots of people think they do it in a 2D animating software rather than a 3D one. Hmm. So. Well, it explains the shadows. I know it's a big yeah. for all of us, a little bit sometimes. I don't know. See how they, appropriate they, that expression is. <laughs> Yeah, it does look like you're watching an episode of it. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna say that. I'm like, <gasps> there's, there's, to the game's credit, this, these sections, the cutscenes, are all universally fucking hilarious and well made. It's like I, you can't distinguish them from the show at all. Right. I had a, I had a buddy at work who said he, he actually really enjoyed the game, but he found he was just playing it so he could get to the next like cutscene. <laughs> Yeah, that's this game in a nutshell, that opinion. I'm sorry, viewers, I can't say that I love this game, but I really started fucking hating it in the second half of it. And it's such a shame, because the first six hours, like I said, they make such a good impression. Why'd you hate it during that? Well, I might as well start getting into the details now. Um, after the six-hour mark, after you defeat Al Gore in a very, very tough battle, I should point out, after I surmounted Al Gore, actually, that's probably the w wrong word again. <laughs> I was just going to be like, oh. After man. I beat Al Gore in a battle, the entire last half of the game just turned into you fighting Nazi zombies. And the joke was, apparently, one of the generals in the game, in one of the cutscenes, saying, Nazi zombies? I hate them. They're so overused. And then the game uses Nazi zombies. Oh, that's, that's a big problem that a lot of games that deal with parody, uh, deal with, like, especially RPGs, where you'll have an RPG and you, they'll make some sort of quirky quip towards, like, collecting quests and how annoying they are and how menial the task is, and then they'll give you one, and it's like, it's still, it's still boring, like, a collect, collect a quest is still boring. It's like Duke Nukem pointing at the Master Chief's armor in, uh, Duke Nukem Forever and saying, man, power armor is for pussies. <laughs> so Oh, and then using the same regenerating health system that the Master Chief yeah. uses anyways. Yeah, missing the point. That's... Sometimes it works, but most of the time... I, I, like, if you're playing through an entire half of the game, and it's them... And at that point, I figured yeah. out the First Order optimal strategy. Right. Like, and then uh, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, because it was the most effective. <laughs> like, I was just annihilate. Oh, you actually have... It, it was literally impossible for me to just do that with one thumb, to press the button fast enough. I actually right. had to wrap my hand... Oh, like did you do the scratching rattle. strategy? Yeah, uh, scratching the button. I had an old controller. Mario Party 3 strategy guide that taught me that. And I was the king of Mario Party for, like, most of my childhood because I had the... You, you, you hold the controller with one hand, and then you make, like, an A, like, an OK symbol with it for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. You, you make your an OK symbol with your with your hand, uh, and then you, you scratch. You scratch you, the like, button. Like, it, like it's... And a, yeah. it actually and it hits a it button like, input. It hits it, like, four times for every time you, sc like make a, a, a back and forth mm -hmm. it's, motion. It's I mean, you, you, yeah. have, you have I, to use yeah, this you, in order to beat some of the sections in this game. That <laughs> infuriates me. That's funny. Yeah. Mario Party. Actually, one of the I one of the role-playing aspects I went into with this character was that he was just a compulsive smacker of things anyway, so... <laughs> it actually worked quite well with the story. Yeah. Or any RPG. Hmm. Just a, a kleptomaniac, really. The animation style in this game is, of course, it works even when within gameplay. Yeah. So it's not just That's the cutscenes, but the weird thing about this game is, uh, it's only on the Xbox 360 and PS3 systems. It's mm -hmm. you see it's that stuttering. Come on, yeah. Son. Yeah, that's the frame rate. Right? Yeah, the stuttering is. Twenty-three point. It, it it gets obnoxious like yeah. it, throughout the entire game. It's persistent. I don't understand. This is a, essentially a two D game. It's not rendering something like Skyrim where I can understand. Right. It's yeah. It, I've never understood why it, a lot of games are capped out at 24 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Or uh, whatever the respective uh, NTSC or PAL versions are. I don't know but, either. Um, 
yeah, when like uh, Call of Duty and, and Halo, I right? think they, they're, you're they're supposed to collect that money on the counter up no. to the left there. But I ended up just smacking his mother. <laughs> <laughs> nice. so angry. He charged in. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, so you actually have to find money. That was my screw up. You have, that money uh, was essential to the opening part of the game. This actually looks pretty fun. That's funny. It does, like doesn't it? it? <laughs> Kyle's just... This is, it looks like, like, yeah, like you said so far, this looks like it. It could totally be like a really well done game, but... They needed more time with this game. <laughs> as as much time as they had, they needed yeah. more. They probably spent most of their time on the little funny clips. Probably. <laughs> I'm going through Broken Age, and it seemed, the, the feeling there seems to be mutual, but Broken Age is a better game already. Because <laughs> it has... Which I, Broken Age? I, I, I double don't find that reached that record. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, is it just not a challenging game, or did they just not have interesting things? No, eventually, they have interesting ideas until the halfway mark, and then all the interesting ideas just kind of get diluted enough where it just becomes a slog. It becomes just a grind. Yeah. And you can't, you can't say that that makes a great game. Yeah. No, I don't, uh, I don't RPGs like... are so grindy, proceed to give grindy quests. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's annoying. This game has so many like outfits and uh, character like items you can collect. Yeah. And you can put it on your character, and they're just so useless. They offer nothing to gameplay except for cosmetic appearance. Right. And <laughs> here's me smacking a snowman for a long time. Ah, uh, butters. Yeah, I know, eh? Oh, Butters in this game. He actually becomes a very useful character, too. He's, I think he's my most used buddy. Yeah. Actually, this aspect of the game, this inventory, this these inventory screens and map screens, they're very generic. It's, yeah, it doesn't seem to fit yeah. too well. Apparently, it's uh, due to, it's supposed to emulate kind of like a phone. Yeah, yeah or, I can see that, like browser, a, with, the, with the sound it makes, but it doesn't really. It doesn't get gel that with the rest of the game. <laughs> hey, it's like strange design, and it's such a pervasive yeah. part of the game too, because you spend a lot of time in those menus. That it just kind of like overwhelms the whole thing. Goes like, oh, they really should put more thought into this. <laughs> <laughs> but the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Not oh, Cartman. He might actually get a nomination for best performance from our site. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He's, like I said, the comedy in this game, the cutscenes are so well done. The yeah. little incidental bits of dialogue you encounter throughout the gameplay is amazing. Shut up, Mom, mm -hmm. not now. <laughs> Shut up, Mom, not now. <laughs> <laughs> that's good actually that's yeah that's good. Uh, but the game around it sucks the life out of it you, you have no idea how much it does no I, I, I don't because I haven't played it welcome to the kingdom but. of Koopa Keith <laughs> uh, here's the acronym yeah for the for the for the Cartman's faction the KKK <laughs> the Koopa Keith clan Funny how Cartman in the uh, he, he kind of went from like uh, you know he, in the first in the first few seasons he was almost just like like a, like an like a little autistic fat kid but then he went to like spawn of Satan and <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's it's that, very strange seeing his his character arc if you want to call that he is. I, he's been called one of the greatest characters in cartoon history, and I don't blame people for saying that because he's just so fun to watch. He really yeah. is. He's my favorite character. I, I'd have to say Stan is actually my favorite. I don't know why. He's Stan. he's understated compared to yeah. Cartman. Yeah. It's probably either that or uh, um, uh, Randy. Also Randy. Yeah. 
Now, Cartman is. I haven't actually watched South Park in a couple of years. Yeah. So. This is my reintroduction to the series kind of thing. I love I love little lines of dialogue as you examine all these areas. As do you, yeah. Is that a pool? <laughs> it's it. They just go all out in the in the live action role playing here. Did you ever uh, see the episode that was sort of set up like this? No. It was uh, it was a parody of Game of Thrones where they had uh, <laughs> they they did they, they did have I believe Kenny was dressed up like that. It was a two or three episode uh, arc, hmm. and it was all I think it was I can't remember now. It's been a while since I've seen it. I, I saw it when it first came out. I haven't really watched South Park since. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really dug the Imagination Land trilogy when I saw it, and yeah. it was such an inspired, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> inspired piece of comedy. Did uh, I like the uh, the ending, the last you know, all, gag of the? <laughs> I think all of the uh, the, uh, the 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 multi episode arcs are good. Uh, like really good. Yeah, I heard the Coon trilogy was really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I gotta get it back into South Park. I miss it. I say that now. Yeah. But. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? Uh, this is you have to. He asks you your name like in oh. any standard RPG. Right. So I was just like a uh, quark. Right. Yeah, I remember <laughs> seeing <here. laughs> <laughs> Very well, douchebag. D for Jew. <laughs> Oh my god, Cartman. Only Cartman could get away with this. I think that's why they, he eventually evolved to that, because they found they could do shocking things with a character who really... Because he's a kid, he doesn't know any better, right? But he does, and that's yeah. the kind of the fun thing about it. Yeah. Like I said, there was so much promise in this game. Now, there's a lot of weapons and consumables in this game. Mm -hmm. and it's all very... I find it's just very generic stuff. One of the cool things they did, though, you see those little slots underneath each uh, weapon? Yeah. You can actually... You collect patches throughout the game that give certain effects. So that is a nice little element that they had. But in right. every respect... No weapon you get uh, at level five is gonna like compare in but any way to anything from like level eight. Isn't or that on. just like your standard weapon ruining system? Yeah, or, yeah, maybe. But you just select augments and put them on your weapons. I guess. I I don't have that much experience in RPGs uh, beyond Skyrim and stuff. Yeah, there's there's tons of games that have stuff like that. But it works. I mean, it's it's not it's not like it's it, it, it's. It's hard to call something as like basic as that cliche just because it, it works so well. It would be calling like platforms cliche in a platforming game. Yeah, I guess. But still, I mean, this game had as long a development as it did. Uh -huh. It could have had oh, yeah. something oh, yeah. invigorating done with it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, that's the whole justification <laughs> of the turn-based battle system. That's good. The thing is, even people who aren't involved in the live action role playing at all follow this system, so it, it kind of breaks down in logic. But for this initial bit, it works perfectly that. fine. It is a really good concept. Mm -hmm. And I like the real time kind of like. I've heard this was used in games like Super Mario Party RPG. But I like this element, this active okay, element. You actually have to time button presses to do oh, more yeah, damage yeah, yeah. block more damage. Yeah, action command is what the uh, Mario RPG called it. And then Paper Mario used it as well. Mm -hmm. Superstar Saga. I think the 
game actually freezes at this point. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a, there's a panoply of bugs throughout this game. Uh, like, you don't have actually, Yeah, I actually have. It's almost worth, like, not saying anything through most of this game. <laughs> Just letting the dialogue go. Yeah, it, this game is a parody of RPGs, so it has a lot to say. <laughs> but at the same time, does all the things that it's saying are kind of stupid, so... He's on fire! <laughs> and you can see immediately the first order optimal strategy what I'm going to use, right? It's just Burning. using the magic powers to... Right. <laughs> it starts 